Hi everyone, this is Heidi Box at Running With Scissors Stamper and I made this card about a year ago uh, for the Friday Mashup Challenge. I had a lot of questions about how to make it um, so I thought it would be a good video to shoot as one of my first videos. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this spring card. Now I used a tutorial from Split Coast Stampers. You start with um, a five and a quarter by ten and a half piece of cardstock. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold that in half. And then open it back up. And then you're going to fold the right side to the center score line to make a quarter fold. Open that back up again. Now you're going to flip it over and you're going to take the bottom flap and fold that right up to your quarter score line. Make a diagonal fold. Open. And do that again from the top down to the quarter score line. Okay. Now you're going to have score lines that look like this. The next thing you want to do is mark your halfway points on the left side. Since it's five and a quarter, halfway would be two and five eighths. You're going to cut here to this score line and the halfway point to this score line. You can draw a line if you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut it using my paper trimmer. So then you should have something that looks like this. When you fold it over, or you flip it over, sorry, you should be able to fold it into a spring card. Now I went ahead, well let's talk about the decoration, but at the end you're going to want to put sticky strip here in order to hold that flap down, and that way it'll spring up. But you can lay it flat for mailing purposes. So here is the card again. Now what I did to decorate it was I added an extra piece of pattern paper on the, or sorry, textured paper on the top to give it a little bit more dimension. This is actually the linen paper from the Taste of Textiles. It's a retired paper. But any sort of, you know, textured paper or even if you embossed it, that would work too. And I added one of these retired five and an eighths inch brads. I uh, colored it with a sharpie to make it black. Down here, I added a couple of pieces of paper to to mat it. Uh, the paper dimensions. Let's see. Uh, the yellow paper is two and a half by five and one eighths, and the whisper white paper is two and three eighths by five inches. Stamp them with, you know, whatever sentiments that you have around that will fit. This comes from Wordplay, and this is a retired set, uh, something to celebrate. To make the diploma, I just grabbed a piece of scrap uh, first edition paper. I just uh, used my fingernails, or you can use a bone folder to, to get the, the edge starting to curl. And then I just roll it right up. I always use my liquid mono adhesive glue, if I can get it going, for three dimensional things. You can use sticky strip too, that works well. Hold that there for a second, get it to hold on. Then you're going to wrap a little bit of ribbon right around there, and you can use this glue as well just to glue that right down onto your card. My hands are a little sticky. And then the last thing is the tassel. Here I use some crochet thread. You could use baker's twine as well. Um, you can go to, the, go to the craft store and get some yellow crochet thread, or you can dye it yourself. Um, and I just took and I wrapped it around my fingers for a little bit here. Let me end here. And 
So that's going you're going to get, start getting a little tassel if you want to make it a little thicker. Add a few more loops. The next thing you're going to want to do is run a piece through the top that you're going to use to attach. Just have a spare piece running through like that. And then thirdly, you need another piece to tie this all closed. Give yourself a little bit of an end for tying. So wrap this around here. Now you're going to want to tie that closed. And I just use a square knot. Then I just trim it close to uh, try to hide that I used a square knot to tie it together. Slide that up a bit. Make sure you have your hanging piece still in there. You're going to trim these edges, but here's the important part. So now you're going to cut these loops free. And then you're going to trim them so that they're all the same length. This little piece here. Yeah, it's a little bit futzy work. Sorry about that. You get the idea though. So, anyway, clean that up a little bit. Your tassel's going to look just like that. You can tie a knot at the end and hide it right under the brad there. And that'll be your cute little tassel. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Please visit me at runningwscissorsstamper.blogspot.com.